I'm in the thick of it. Oh, I don't want to get copyright stricken. <laughs> I'm in the thick of it. Everybody knows. I skied in and they froze. I don't know nobody. I was. Whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how the story goes. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast, where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Cigar Guys podcast with myself, Mr. Producer Alex Gonzalez, and Mark Nikolai. What's going on? Superintendent. <laughs> and what's going on? Jared Burroughs. Present. As always. Present. Thank you. Real quick, before we get started, we are doing another giveaway for Cigar Bro Lighter, 3-in-1 Lighter. Uh, we did a giveaway on Instagram. We did a giveaway on TikTok. Both were pretty successful. So we're doing a giveaway now on the podcast as well. So if you want to win one of these lighters absolutely free... Go ahead and leave a comment down below and like this video and you can get a chance to win one of these lighters. This is the, if you haven't seen it yet, obviously it is a torch lighter, as I said, and I don't think it's full right now. Jared, where's yours? Jared, where's yours? Jared, where's yours? Jared's got it. I bet his is going to work because his is full. Here's mine. It's always working. It's always full. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why are you not lighting it? It's got oh, nice you want me to show you how to light yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, There you go. See? I, I, I had faith in Jared. Triple flame torch lighter. That forms a very nice point also. It does. Um, and That's a good point, Mark. <laughs> it's got a built-in V-cut, and it is grooved in such a way. Oh, I never can, noticed that. <laughs> now, nah, see, his hands aren't shaky, so it just works out beautifully for him. So, if you, if you don't have an ashtray for some reason, you don't want to put your cigar directly on the table that everyone's touched. Um, you can set it on mm. here for safekeeping. And I'll make sure to fill it next time so it works. Yeah, it's pretty embarrassing. It is kind of embarrassing. They so, actually are one of my favorite lighters right now. Uh, I agree. I told them that as well. I said, this is my favorite lighter when it's filled. What if I just like... <gasps> all right, it doesn't work. Anyway. It's okay. We get it. It's out. It's all right. It's my fault, guys. I will use it to... So it has a really good V-cut too. It's sharp. It is. It's almost perfect every time. Look at that. A lot of V-cuts that I've used in the past, they tear the cap off in such a way or they don't cut through all the way. So it's very annoying. I love the um, the material. It's kind of like this matte black kind of grainy feel. It feels like um, the stuff they put in your truck bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bed liner. Yeah. Feels like bed liner. But it's very you know, I, I agree. It does feel like that. <laughs> Thank you, Jared. It's very light, too, though. Like, every time I pick it up, I'm like, oh, shoot. Like, it's not as heavy as it looks. Does that make sense? Mark was telling me that's built with, like, titanium steel or something like that. It's, like, bulletproof. Oh, is that what it is? I think so. Oh, I said that? Yeah. Your name <laughs> Your name is Mark, right? Out of the <laughs> Who said that, Mark? Very cool stuff. Very exciting. So, yeah. Again, comment. Down below, comment what you think about the lighter. Comment what you think about us. Crack a joke. Maybe, I don't maybe care. not that. Mark's insecure, so <laughs> maybe uh, I definitely want to hear. Make fun of Jared and myself, but not Mark. He's uh, he's sensitive today. I don't know. Is everything okay? He doesn't want to answer. He doesn't want to talk about it. He doesn't want to talk about smoking. it. It's okay, bro. I'm gonna light up. Uh, a Besa Maduro today for the podcast. What about you, Mark? I got the same exact thing. Oh, wow. Jared? Today I'm smoking something uh, new for the podcast, I believe. This is the Island Gym. What? I probably smoked like at least four or five of these in the last like four or five days. 
Really? I really like them, actually. Good. That's got the uh, uh, exposed foot, I believe they call it. The shaggy foot. Yeah. The shaggy foot's barely showing now. Well, that's because you smoked it. That's true. Do, do you notice a flavor change when you get to the wrapper? Well, yeah, I, I tend to smoke the wrapper with the cigar. So there's a little bit of a flavor change there. There should be. Look at this guy. He's already using. Look at this. Oh, he's <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Never before seen by Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't think about that, huh? No, I, I didn't think about that actually. Yep. That's anyway. So, um... Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Today we're gonna talk. I, I'm just mind blown. Yeah. His ing his ingenuity never stops. It never ceases to amaze me. I was concerned because he didn't take his nap today, so I didn't know. That's when I <laughs> that's when I do the best. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh what are we talking about today? Okay, so we released an article in August showcasing the current top five. Cigar Guys YouTube videos of all time based on views. And now we're going to do an update on that and talk about each episode, how it makes us feel, what was our favorite part about this uh, video. And uh, we're going to talk about some videos that also could have been great, but did not see the light of day due to YouTube censorship. Communism. That too. But... Starting off, we're going to go with some honorable mentions um, because Jared felt bad or he felt left out because uh, he wasn't featured in any of the top five thumbnails. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a, a bone here. Um, honorable mention, our top three favorite cigars, which is at currently 1.K <laughs> 1K views, 1.9 thousand views. Uh, you can go find this video because Jared is on the thumbnail pointing. But basically, we talked oh. about. Is that it? Oh, uh, my comment here is that was our first <laughs> video to reach a thousand views before the Sokka one came out. I don't, I don't know that's if that's true. true. That is true. Maybe it actually might be true. Podcast wise? Why? Because I went on there and refreshed it a thousand times. <laughs> 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 it was either I, first I or the, second. I thought the celebrity one beat that. I think the celebrity one. Yeah, I think it was celebrities and then him. Yeah, originally, originally, but I, I, we'll, we'll say it was number one in our hearts. But in this episode, we discussed yeah <laughs> uh, our top three favorite cigars, which, as we always say, is constantly changing for the most part. We really should we do that one when Zach gets back because I'm pretty sure my top three were all Padron. So we actually did redo that episode, or we did a, a second edition, and again, it was just us three. No, Zach. So we'll never know what Zach's <laughs> top three favorite cigars are. One of these days, we should call him in. Yeah. When he's not here. Yeah. I like agree. today. Like maybe now. You could. Maybe next time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, another honorable mention that was sixth place technically, almost made the cut. Best cigars for beginners. Also a topic we talk about a lot, but that video got. Three and a half thousand views. Yep. Still so good far. Video. Still, still a good. very good video. Um, vi just that video was just featuring me, actually. So terrible video. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, yeah. But we did a podcast episode on that too with morning cigars, I think. Uh, Not morning cigars, but it was, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the same title essentially. Yeah. I thought that's the video we were talking about. I'm surprised that the other one got so many views. He's so dull, you know, like one person. I don't know. I mean, you know, on this list, we forgot to actually <laughs> list down. I'm just joking. Um, we filmed like a few like full fledged episodes that are about what 45 minutes to an hour long where we actually forgot to uh record the audio. That is true. Yeah, that is I forgot true. about those. Yeah. But I think we redid one of them and it still got taken down. No, which yeah, one? It was the uh, the humidor one, the uh, portable one. We recorded it like three times. Oh, 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 and it's yeah, it did get taken down. Yeah, that's true. I didn't put all the deleted videos on here, but too many we'll to that. count. We'll get to that later. Yeah, we'll get to that later. But 
Anyway, so number five on the list is Cigar Lounge Music, one hour playlist of instrumental jazz, which I, I knew it would do good. Well, but it's kind of funny to see that that's like in the top five. It's weird that how I was still featured in that video somehow. Yeah. I'm just glad my hard work in playing jazz music really paid off for that video. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, the video is exactly what it is, an hour long of instrumental jazz music. And the whole point of it was basically to share like the perfect music for a cigar lounge ambiance. Yeah. If that makes sense. I think the real reason why it has so many views is because that's what we listen to when we're at a cigar lounge by ourselves (laughs) and we have our headphones on and we want to be left alone so we can have a cigar with people around us with our headphones on. Mm. Is that what you do when you go and work? You tune in, turn on a cigar lounge music, buy the cigar guys and just knock out. Yeah, he, he, he locks in. You want to comment on that? Uh, well, Mark uh, speaks for me sometimes. He lo- he locks in for sure. I lock in all the time. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so we have that. We have a two-hour version, and we also have um, a third version. And Mark wants me to do more, but I haven't had time, so. Yeah. And I think what Jared was going to say also is... um, Thank you, Mark. There, there probably should be another one, but maybe like a different kind of like soul music or something. Soul music. Yeah. Okay. Little, like a little more groovy music. Okay. That's what Jared was thinking. Let us know too what kind of music you want us to see or you want us to do. Uh, soul, maybe. Maybe you agree with Mark. Maybe you have a better yeah, not, idea. Not, not me, Jared. <laughs> Sorry. Maybe you agree with Jared. Maybe you have a better idea. Uh, but that was one of our top five videos and it's still going. We'll see too, like, by the time this comes out and by the end of the year, how these, how the rankings change. And a video that Mark mentioned previously, which is number four in the ranking, Celebrities That Smoke Cigars, sitting at 5.5 thousand views. Why do we think this video did so good? I think, or Jared thinks it did good because I think there's a lot of celebrities out there that smoke cigars that they don't really realize they smoke cigars. You know what I mean? I mean, I oftentimes forget I smoke cigars, too. <laughs> Do you have a real answer? Like, I think, like, um, also, celebrity names kind of drive the algorithm. You know what I mean? Like, if they, you put celebrity names in, like, your oh. thing, the YouTube algorithm is like, ooh, that he said Rihanna. You know, let's, let's push it. You know what I'm saying? See, that's a good idea. You should start putting my name in some of these titles. It'll drive the view count up. Um, I will say your name is in every single description. <laughs> but so. what about the title? No. We got to get some more videos. But I don't think none of the names were listed were in the title. We just kind of said it not, on. Not yet. I just thought of this. Mark is saying that they scrub the video itself and hear these names. Yeah. 100%. Do you concur? Jared. 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 Oh, we're getting like three reviews on this. <laughs> And we also just uploaded a vlog titled Jared Buys Cybertruck. Oh, I thought it was that you missed the wedding or almost missed the wedding. And immediately after that, by the time they're watching this, there's going to be a vlog called Jared Buys Cybertruck. Interesting. And it's a picture of you like this wearing aviators. Am I in this video? You are in this video. Okay. So is this a real thing or is it like you guys rented that one out? Well, he rented this plain one that looked like a fridge, and then he actually got a black <laughs> one. <laughs> it's, it's true, actually, right? I don't remember what it looks like before now. I do, because I see him on the road all the time now. <laughs> I do, too. I see it on the road. I'm like, damn, it looks so much better in black. Yeah. Like, I liked it in silver, but seeing it in black in person like that, pretty sweet. It is a, it is a really cool truck. It's also funny to see like Jared pull up, and everyone's like looking at it, and we're just like... Yeah. Yeah, that's Jared. That's Jared. Like, you know, don't worry about it. It's funny seeing him get all the attention, though. Yeah. And Jared, and, and Jared's not that kind of guy, you know, but he gets the most, like, outrageous truck possible. Yeah, he's not really a big attention guy. He's not, no. Actually, I just started talking after episode 75. Yeah, maybe he just turned a new leaf, you know, like. Maybe. And now... We, now that we're hosting another show, 
it's starting over. He's not talking as much. Maybe episode 75, he's going to start talking again. <laughs> <laughs> like a year from now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes Jared a year and like a quarter to get comfortable on a new show. Yeah. They call it uh, getting your feet wet, I think. <laughs> getting your what wet? Your feet wet. Oh, okay. I, I thought it was something else. But now uh, dipping your toes in the water, is that what you're trying to... I think the, I think you could say both those things. I've I guess heard, so. I've heard both of both both of those things being used. Maybe, yeah, yeah. So with the celebrities uh, that smoke cigars, Arnold Schwarzenegger went on another podcast recently. Smoke a cigar? Yeah, cigar aficionado. I think it was posted like three weeks ago. I haven't heard of it. I just found out today. Actually, I told you about it, so you did hear about it at least an hour ago. <laughs> I'm pretending you didn't tell me. I haven't heard of it. Oh, I thought maybe you haven't heard of Scarf No, like, that would be crazy. Yeah, that, that would be that, crazy. That's what I'm saying. I haven't. Oh, so which part have you heard? Arnold Schwarzenegger. I've heard of him. Okay. Wait, you've heard of cigars? Yes. And you've heard of aficionados? Yeah, that's like us. Okay, so you've heard of Scarf Aficionado. Okay. It's basically us, but a magazine. Interesting. If they came here to sign us, I would be like, I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> who, Arnold or... Both, I guess. Yeah, maybe. All right. What's our next one? Number three? Well, actually, so when the article came out, this was number two, and then it got overtaken. But currently, as it stands, our number three most watched video at 6.4K views is Electric Humidor Review, in quote, in parentheses, Modgar. We did a review of the Modgar branded Electric Humidor, which is currently at Mark's house. And this is very famous for multiple reasons, right? Oh, is that one? Yeah. Why is it famous? Because oh. didn't YouTube give us like three strikes for this one? No, this was actually they, they probably knew the issues. Oh, was, was it three this, strikes? Was it, it was like two was, warnings was it, and a strike. Was it this one or was it need one? I'm pretty sure it's Modcar because you put Boveda or whatever Boveda thought, in the description. Actually, oh, you're right because yeah. we didn't do a full video. You did two things in one. Yeah. I thought um the need one was a really popular one. No, it's this one. Uh, in terms of, should I get my review on it? In terms of it. <laughs> long, in terms of long form content, uh, you want to give a review on that? I guess since you want to do reviews now, all of a sudden, it just it leaks humidity, so it's not a real good humidor. It's not airtight. No, well, I noticed that there's a big hole in the back for the fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but surely that's surely it's built in such a way where it's not just gonna actually leak humidity you could see it so that hole is exposed to the actual inside yeah that's not good it worked fine when i had it yeah in all fairness my you need, use it i know <laughs> my need one works just fine yeah but we're talking about a different brand we're talking about majgar no he's talking about need one no, no he's I'm not talking about majgar Keep oh, up. okay just making sure making sure need one we have now my three you have one and we have two here. So we have three. So we have three. Correct. I Yours works fine, right? Yeah. Mine works great. That one works great. We got to find a place for the other one, though. Yeah. Currently, right now, I still Let's have giveaway. your wedding cigar in there. So it should be good. Just that? Or you're saying go. that's your longest one? I, th I think so. I made sure I didn't touch it. Okay. But yeah. Um, they're also sending us, supposedly, a smaller one. Mm-hmm. So we have, maybe there'll be a giveaway. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that is currently number three. Um, apparently Mark doesn't like it. We got to start giving some of the stuff away because our studio is going to become a big humidor pretty soon, which That's also isn't a problem, but. Yeah, but like you, you want to stay humble, you know, like you don't want to be like the, the, the it, biggest yeah. humidor. They have to share the love somehow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mark, share some love. Why, why'd you call me out like that? I just wanted you to agree. Everyone said yes. Was it you? Yeah. I think he's used to you talking for him, so now he's confused. <clears throat> well, I used to, yeah, I used to talk for you. So I'm, I'm, that was an internal thought. I just let it come like right out of my mouth, and I just happened to look at you. I don't know. See, do that, but on the podcast, and then people won't make fun of you for not talking. What this podcast? Are we recording right now? In general, no. Oh. He's doing great now. Oh, okay. He, talk, he talks on our podcast. 
Yeah, I mean, after episode. Thank you, Mark. See, sharing some love. See, right there. <laughs> it worked out. <clears throat> it worked out just fine. I think he just didn't trust us at first. You know, he's like, who are these guys? And then after a year and a half, he's like, oh, I got it. Am I wrong? I trust you. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to. Yeah, I trust you. Thanks. So Grant Cardone says that if you trust like your friend, I should be able to call you up and ask for 50 grand. <laughs> you should be able to wire it to me. So hey, he didn't Jared. trust you. Trust me. <laughs> hey, Jared, I, need, I need about 50 grand. <laughs> Would I ever get it back or can I put a big on it? No, no, you get it back. Do you trust him? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm not. I, I just want to hear your answer. Um, um, it, Am I only worth 50 grand to you? Is that? You're right, Kenneth. That was funny, man. See, I'm sharing love to buying love, Mark. See, uh, also, uh, Andrew Tate said that your real friend will let you borrow like um, 12 million in cash. So, <laughs> no, I was just playing around. Let's go to our second topic. Yeah, Mark would buy a bunch of iPads. <laughs> What I do, I buy one custom, really big iPad. <laughs> see, I don't, I don't ask for Jared. I don't ask Jared for like a hundred grand out the blue. What I ask him for is, hey, can I borrow your Cybertruck? And he's like, oh, okay, sure. Oh, then I you sell it exactly. <laughs> and I just forget I had it, or no? What happens is I sell it for a hundred and fifty, pocket the fifty, go back and buy another one for a hundred grand, give you the truck back. No one's the wiser. Interesting. That could have worked like several months ago, I bet. But Yeah. Probably. That's what happened when you were originally supposed to get yours. And the reason it was delayed is because I actually confiscated it first and mm. turned it around. And that's why we had to drive all the way to Tampa. The reason we drove to Tampa is because you told them, don't deliver it to Orlando. We're going to drive to Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> it, to, be, it was, to be fair, though, it probably would have taken a little longer. If he no, no, yeah, yeah. They were like, oh, it doesn't get here until blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it was fun. It does sound like a cool trip. Uh, you were there. I wasn't there. Oh, never mind. <laughs> the next one uh, is number two. Uh, the Steve Sock episode. That was a good episode. Very good episode. So why do we think that our podcast episode with Steve Sokka did so good? Uh, he shared it. That's true. He shared it on his Facebook. And if you don't know about Steve Sokka's Facebook, every time he posts something, it's like, it just blows up. It gets a ton of views, ton of comments, ton of likes and engagement. He's got probably, arguably, the best cigar following amongst oh, 100%, brands, yeah. I would For say. Sure. Him and Matt Booth, I think. He actually did a, uh, I, I saw a Facebook post. He says, every time I post an event, like through Facebook, it gets like three likes. But then I'll post this dumb picture and he posts a picture of like something stupid. And it's going to get like over 200 likes and all these comments. And sure enough, it's like he posts some dumb picture and then it got like, you know, 300 likes and that's funny. A bunch of people commenting. He's like, see, that's so, pretty funny. I don't know. Maybe we could trade Instagram accounts for a bit or Facebook accounts. He did announce on our podcast his cutter. Did he? Yeah. He talked about his cutter on our podcast. He did. Yeah. That's right. That he's, that he was coming out with and he Megan. Yeah. That's being sold now for like a hundred dollars or $400, oh, $400. At, at around the corner. How much did he say it was supposed to be sold for? You claim he said it was a hundred dollars. Yeah, I, I he never said it was saw anything about it. I, I'm pretty. We go look back at our podcast. He talked about it. He probably did, but he didn't. He didn't technically re- release it with like an MSRP. He said, "I'm going to sell it to the retailers, and they can do whatever the heck." Yeah, they you're want right. He it. did say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all steep though. 400, yeah. But basically, too, if you don't know, it's a cigar cutter. It's a straight cut with a replaceable razor blade, Razor blade, essentially. Mm. It's not actually a razor but blade. It's but it's a custom like, razor blade. It's not a razor blade like the really thin ones, like an actual razor blade. It's like a straight cutter, a guillotine cut, but a little thinner. Something in between, maybe. Yeah. Remember that uh, Zycar cutter I had like a really long time ago? <clears throat> I lost it somewhere. No. Where it was like you flip it back and forth. One was a straight side. The other side was a V-cut. Oh, that was Calibre. Yeah, yeah. It's Calibre cutter. What'd I say? Zycar. 
Sorry. Yeah. And that's he, what Jerry you lost used to, that? Yeah, that's why I don't see it anymore. It's good though, because Jerry used to butcher his cigars with it. That's true. Because the problem is on the straight cut side, it's, it's so deep. deep. It, yeah, it's so uh, yeah. Yeah, you used to butcher your I, cigars. I don't pretend like you just found that out right now. I maybe, told you. Uh, maybe it got lost for a reason. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, but it's okay. We replaced it with the Cigar Bro lighter, which is a V cut, and it doesn't allow you to uh, go too deep. It's really nice to see the cigar guys and the cigar bros kind of like come together. That is cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we came together like, like that. You yeah. Know what I mean? Also, if you don't win this giveaway, <laughs> because there's only one winner, Go to cigarbro.co and use the. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that funny? <laughs> I think it's. Uh, I think the the discount code is cigar guys. You get twenty percent off at cigarbro.co. Um, I'll confirm in the. <laughs> you still laughing? <laughs> you, you staring at me? <laughs> huh. it's not, I don't know. It's not I'll, funny. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll put something in the description. All so right, you can read say it again. You get a discount if you what? Go to cigarbro.co, get yourself a lighter, and put the discount code CIGARGUYS and get 20% off. That's a pretty good deal, 20% off. Yeah, you're welcome, guys. So go get yourself a lighter. Um. Anyway. Is the blade on here replaceable? I mean, I think technically it is, but you have to take it apart. Yeah, okay. But you can also just get it sharpened. They're reusable if you charge them. All right. Time to go to deleted videos. No. Oh, we got one more. Mark always likes to skip ahead at the most pivotal, the pivotal moments, the climax. It's like he's just ma- edge master here. I, I just don't like this next one because I wasn't in it. So I was going to skip it over it. Yeah, it's really funny, actually. The number one <laughs> most viewed video on the Cigar Guys at 8.5 thousand views featuring yours truly and only yours truly. How much to open a cigar lounge where I single-handedly sit down and give you a cost analysis breakdown of how much it would take to open a cigar shop, bar, lounge, whatever the case may be. You know, I just realized this list is very, um, it's only YouTube videos specifically. It you include just the, realized that? It doesn't include the shorts or our TikToks though. It does not include the shorts or our TikToks. This is strictly YouTube videos. Like I said in the very beginning, go back and confirm that. We'll cut that out. But we could talk about our shorts as well. If you want to pull out your phone and co- confirm that. Actually, Mark's going to be happy about this. It's me. Mark single-handedly is the number one most viewed short on YouTube. Yeah, you know, it's just um, it's hard being Here go. the guy that pulls all the weight and the cigar guys. But somebody's got to do it, you know what I mean? Like, who's going to carry the boat? I'm going to carry the boat, you know what I mean? I'm pulling the weight. Um, and it's tough. It's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. And um, it's not that I chose to do it. It's just that I'm a natural-born leader so it just kind of fell into my lap and i just had to you know run with it if i had a guess this is the one where he's smoking the leaf by oscar but he's smoking the leaf instead of the cigar itself correct very very, that? very innovative i might say um a little controversial which is good drives i will give mark credit it was his idea <laughs> and um i was just leave it at that you know I'm, I'm, pr- I'm a pretty humble guy um I don't like to talk too much about myself. Which is why he's not sh- he's not telling you that it's almost at half a million views right now. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's so embarrassing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's cool. Yeah, I like it. You know. Do you have a comment? I'm um, sorry, you done? Um. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, shit. Is that Sydney Sweeney calling my phone again? Oh, my God. Can you just ignore that for I me? I knew this would happen. <laughs> You knew Sydney Sweeney was going to call him. Yeah, every he's, time every time he calls like, me, like he's talking like Zach Riffick on TikTok. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you, Jared. Zach, 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 how, how do you say it? Zach or yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's crazy. Super humble guy. All right, Mark. And tall. Tall. <laughs> what is he? Seven foot. 
And super rich. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy seeing a video with him and other people, and you realize how many people are actually like seven feet tall as well. <laughs> like some people are actually taller than he is, which is crazy. Crazy. But all together, we're getting some good views on our videos. Um, on YouTube specifically? Getting some popularity. On YouTube specifically? Um, there are videos I could have done better, but got deleted, unfortunately. Our next segment. Rest in peace. What could have been? Cigar Guy's Spectacular. Yep. Like, uh, the first one on the list is um, <sighs> Ultimate Guide to Cigar Rappers. That was a good video from what I remember. That's probably the one I'm, like, most upset about. Because <laughs> it's, like, one of the most, not basic, but, like, that's a go-to video. Like, oh, we're going to break down all the different types of cigar wrappers you could possibly have. Yeah, and it was educational. They just don't want people to learn, I think. They don't. I think we should just make brain rot content full time now. Yeah. And maybe it'll do better. But yeah, this video was essentially what <coughs> what the title says. It's the ultimate guide to cigar wrappers. So we broke down different shades, um, different origins, <coughs> how they're cured, a bunch of different stuff. So maybe we'll redo that video and call it something else we really should have a segment where mark just rates rappers <laughs> on cigars you mean bands and bands and cellophane we should do we should do one episode where it's our top favorite cigar bands and see if it matches the flavor profile of the cigar like if the quality of cigar is as good as the band okay so you're just going to judge the bands and then as a secondary yes okay we can do that you can have your time to shine, Mark. You know, and that's just brings, uh, ties it all back together of how um, innovative and <laughs> humble I am with this podcast. Because we're honestly going to make those videos, and I'm not going to say that I'm the one that, you know, thought of those videos, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, anyway. Moving on. Moving on. Jared? Ultimate Guide to Cigar Rappers. <laughs> No, we just we just said <laughs> he pulled a mark there. Cigar blind taste tests in the history of cigars. Yeah, that was a cool video too. Essentially, we had someone that was not us go and select different cigars that all looked the same. There, so they were all Connecticut shade cigars. Took the bands off, and then we had to guess which cigar it was, and then. While we were smoking them, we oh, talked about the history of cigars. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, that was a fun one too. I like that one. We'll do that again. Yeah. Or something similar. And then yeah. I guess we'll have to talk about the history of cigars again. Yeah, we can. Yeah, there's a lot of history. Where they started, how they made their mark. Current um, political and economic state of cigars. Yeah. We should talk about that more too. Like, you know, just, we're talking about all this nonsense right now <laughs> and we should be changing the world. With our discussion. Exactly. What are we doing? <laughs> Jared? Well, I thought we were doing that, but... <laughs> next next one. Um, kind of sucks this one got taken out because it's kind of like a collab video. Not really. Like, ooh. The yeah. Cigars and networking. In a way, the knowledge was shared. The knowledge was collaborated. Yeah, we, we had the guy's book. It's back there. Um, is your network... No, it's literally back there. The episode was called Cigars and Networking, featuring a book by John Dade called Is Your Networking Net Work? Wait, what am I doing? Is Your Networking Net Working? It covered my face a little bit. That's the point. Um, but yeah, so we shared how cigars can be used to help network, um, whether it's at an event or whether it's with people at the lounge. And we talked a little bit about this book. You can get on Amazon. Um, and that was a good episode too. I think uh, a yep. lot of good topics that we'll have to rehash. By the way, too, all these episodes are still available on Rumble. our Spotify. Uh, our Spotify and all audio platforms. So you can watch the podcast on Spotify or listen to them on any podcast platform because we're not censored on podcast platforms. 
It's only an issue with YouTube. And we ask ourselves, why? Especially because we're not the biggest cigar podcast on YouTube. We're just kind of... Maybe they fear us. Is that what it is? <clears throat> yeah, I really don't know. It's almost as if... It's almost as if I'll, ca- I'll call the CEO tomorrow. Figure out what's going on. It's almost as if we're directly violating the guidelines. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, the video might get taken out also. <laughs> I was joking. I was joking. Our next video, I have no idea why this one got taken down. 5G mind control, how why. taxes work, and more BS. <laughs> Can explain why. The mind control. We got too close to the truth. <laughs> exactly. That's the problem. When you start talking about something of substance, it's when they take you down. That was uh, an interesting episode as well. We broke down the very biochemicals of 5G. Hmm. Is that what we did? I don't remember. Yeah. It's been a long time. I forgot to be. I, I forgot what we even talked about. I think that was like a, a side conspiracy theory episode. Yeah. The next one, um, answering most commonly asked questions. So that was a good episode too. That was. I think that was another one with um, just us three, if I'm not mistaken, where we essentially break down and answer questions that are frequently asked by you guys and many others. Hmm. Yeah. That was a good episode. Informative. It's all the informative ones they take down. Again, we got to bring these back somehow. Maybe just with a different title. Titles, shorts, you name it. Backups. I'll work on it tonight. A Cigar Guys podcast, too. <laughs> um, <laughs> ironically, too, it, it's funny when you like hear some of these titles. Uh, the next video that got taken down was our episode titled Cigar Prop, featuring Kevin from Cigar Prop. In parentheses, Cigar Censorship, where we interview Kevin and talk about cigar censorship because his TikTok uh, accounts got taken down twice. No warning, no nothing, no reason. And we talked about that. And then ironically, the interview itself also got taken down. And I didn't see this in the list, but we did two episodes with Cigar Prop. Both of them were taken down. Wow. Because we did another one at uh, the Sarasota Lounge. That got taken down I'm also? pretty sure it did. Wow. You too, man. If I'm not mistaken. This one got taken down too. Guarantee it because we're talking about it. The next one we have. Cigar Smoking Olympics Longevity. Is this the one where Zach cheated? Yeah. Dang, that one got to take it out? Dude, I know. It's all the cool ones. It's because he cheated. Yeah. Ah, it's against the guidelines to cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. But then you have the Ace family. They're cheating on each other left and right. Well, cheating in relationships is clearly different. Cheating in real life. Mm. I mean, in a cigar competition. Yeah, basically in that episode... We all smoked the same cigar. We all lit up at the same time. And the goal was uh, whoever had the longest ash on their cigar was going to win. Zach cheated, so he was disqualified, which means I won, of course. That video was up for a little while, though, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it had its time. Yeah. It had its time to shine. Yeah. And then they stripped it from us. And not our last video, but the last one that I put on the list was um, our most recent one, which is very shocking because it's been a very long time since we had a video taken down. But very recently, how to choose the right cigar for your taste was stripped from us as well. Wow. It's like we don't want our audience to be informed. I'm telling you, we just got to start making brain rock content. Think about it. Your most popular video ever at almost half a million views is you smoking a tobacco leaf. Yeah, and half, 90% of those comments were like, oh, just, there's no weed inside of it. <laughs> yeah, 90% of the comments were stoners, and 10% of the comments were cigar nerds. Ripping on me. Yeah. So, like, is this guy fucking serious? No. The answer is no. Well, I'll be honest. I'll go ahead and say this on air. Whoa. That leaf tastes better than the actual cigar. No way. I, I, I talked about it. That's shocking. Yeah. Breaking news. Not shocking. I thought, <laughs> but I did it again with a different Oscar. 
leaf by Oscar, and it tasted terrible. The leaf. Oh, okay. So, and the scour is even worse still, or no? The scour is good. I think I just had a. They they just put a really good leaf in that bunch, you know. Hmm. The world may never know. <laughs> Who knows, man? How's your uh, island gym? It's really good. I really like it. I think it's like fourteen bucks. It's really good. It tastes really these? good. Island gym. No. It's actually, uh, the very guy you were just ripping on. Who was that ripping on? Oh, Leaf Oscar? Yeah. They make it? He talked sure. talk oh, yeah, so much Oscar. shit, yeah, you right forgot. <laughs> You're right there. Oscar Valadares Tobacco & Co. Now, who is Jim? He looks like a cool guy. Looks like somebody to hang out with. He, yeah, he looks like that, actually. That's, that's him. That's literally Jim right there. <laughs> but is that a real person? No, that's a real person. <clears throat> it's his cigar. Seems like a cool dude. We should get him on the pod. We should. He's out in a... I think he's got a shop in St. Augustine, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. We should go. See you in St. Augustine. Yeah, he opened up a few months ago. I think. What if he's over there? Maybe we can go, like, uh, Saturday morning. Yeah. Possible. Possible, or you can make it happen? Possible. That's no. I gotta I got see if I gotta work. Saturday morning? Well, if I work overnight Friday, I'm not going to want to go in the morning. <clears throat> okay. All right. We'll save it for after the podcast. <laughs> Bro's breaking Jared's heart right now. Maybe, if not this Saturday, next Saturday. You think You think Jim will be there? It's possible. I'll call him up. <laughs> hey, is Jim going to be into it? You know, it's actually funny. I just checked my calendar. I'm actually free next Thursday, if you are. Next Thursday? No, no, I definitely got to work in the morning. Hmm. How, how do you just check your calendar? Your calendar. Would- hmm. Next Thursday? Uh, no, I got to work that day. Mm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, forgot, I asked off for work. Yeah, I'll, I'll be free, Jared, if you want to go. There we go. That's the answer I want to hear every time. Yeah. I text you. I call you. I show up at your house late at night. What? Uh, you do what? To ask a, you know, to smoke a cigar with me. You got to be available. Um, I'm actually offended that I wasn't invited. What the heck? Oh, uh, you said you were busy that day. With <laughs> if I get him first, we go to you because you you'll be ready. We oh, gotta make sure oh, he's not I, sleeping. I totally forgot, Jared. I'm gonna be in um Texas. I got I got, <laughs> I, got, I, got I got a text. Ted Cruz really needs my help for some reason. His life depends on it. It said that is true. I clicked a link, and um, it just asked me for my social security number and my bank account information. So. But why do you need to go to Texas? Yeah. Are these stories connected or? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that text crazy? So for the audience, I got a text that said, hey, this is Ted Cruz. I need your help. My life depends on it. <laughs> With a link. <laughs> what was the link? I don't know. I didn't fucking click that shit. <laughs> it's Ted Cruz, bro. He's not going to put spyware on your phone. The son of the Zodiac Killer? Nah. The son. I thought it was the actual Zodiac Killer. No, 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 His dad was supposedly the Zodiac Killer. Hmm. Interesting. So you all get famous for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was the Zodiac Killer. I mean, he wasn't. He wasn't. But apparently he was. You know, they actually know who the Zodiac Killer was now? Yeah, I just told you. No, no, but like they, they actually know, though. Oh, okay. Uh, just like last week, they came out where they now know who Jack the Ripper was. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Well, his name was Jack. <laughs> no, they actually have like DNA evidence now. Yeah. Oh, but they didn't have it back then. And they, they found out who the DNA Zod- didn't exist back then. They found out who the Zodiac Killer was through um like I think Ancestry or a Twenty Three and Me or something like that. I feel like I saw something about yeah, that. Yeah, he, he, he had his account registered. <laughs> <laughs> No, they, they found like his close relative and then they were able to... He's like, oh no, I created a family tree. I told on myself. Oh, but how my- do they know it's him? DNA? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying like, okay, I track Jared's DNA. We see who his ancestors are and it pulls up this guy. We now have to assume that he was the Zodiac Killer. Like, how do we know his name? It well, doesn't, it, it, we don't look at his tree and it says Zodiac Killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think they um 
through the DNA, they were able to find out that it was oh, okay. like an uncle or something like and that. And it matched someone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. But uh, he's long dead by now. I would assume so. Yeah. Jack the Ripper is still alive, though, from what I heard. What? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he's got a 23andMe account, too. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy, though. Like, DNA didn't exist back then. So, how did they all of a sudden figure it out, you know? I mean, unless they preserve the bodies, like hair, nails. Well, bone. they pre- they preserve the evidence, and then they go back and test the evidence mm. for DNA and things like that. I'm just joking when I say DNA didn't exist back then. It actually existed. We just didn't know that it existed. Mm. I thought they just invented it. <laughs> that was the joke I was trying to make, but <laughs> no one found it funny. Anyway. So uh that's that, that's all we got. That's 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 all we that's all that's all we got. Folks. What, what time are we at? Oh my gosh, it's only twelve minutes. Whew. It's gonna be a long podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh I'll say it again. If you're still with us, extra entry. Go to our Instagram and find the most recent picture featuring the Cigar Bro lighter and comment from YouTube under that picture for an extra giveaway entry. So if you're still watching, you just got a special extra giveaway entry. But anyway, check out this lighter, cigarbro.co. And if you want to get one for yourself, use the code CIGARGUYS to get 20% off. It's our favorite lighter, as Mark said. Lighter slash cutter slash cigar stand. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Cheers. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short-form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below.